Hey, everybody. Get on in here. <clears throat> Get on in here. The collective world has lost its mind. And we're going to try to pray to get them, give them some sense. I have a dog and a cat. It's a little cool out, but I have some hot tea to keep me warm, and I have all of you. So get on in here. And the, the hawk is in fine voice, too. <clears throat> it's tea time, everybody. Tea time. I'm in my rocking chair, and I'm relaxed, taking a deep breath. I got two hawks. It's Happy Hawk Day. So the first little bit of... Uh, news well i've almost got 200 people in here uh first little bit of news is my sister dina is back at duke today for her annual mammogram so if you scheduled yours and they're going to send her for an ultrasound after the mammogram and she's there by herself because jay is too sick to go with her Keep my sister Dina in your prayers. She was diagnosed with breast cancer last fall and they took a lump out. And so this is just the annual exam. I'm, I'm sure that there's nothing wrong, just some scar tissue because we scar funny and it's all going to be okay. So say positive things for Dina. I heard from Ben just now. He called me. I figured no news is good news, and I don't want to call him when he's sick and can't talk because then it'll worry me. Um, he's had a gallbladder attack for the last 10 days, so he's been in pretty bad shape. So he's got to get some non-fat food in. and But he's doing good. He's been on the phone all day with his doctors trying to schedule his surgery. So we shall see when he'll get his surgery made. He can't go through two surgeries. So maybe when they go in to fix his gallbladder that they will do that. I mean, when they go in to fix his cancer, they're going to do this surgery, bad surgery, 10 hour surgery. And so just be assured that God has all this in his hands. That's that's all I can think about. All I can think about. God's got us all in your hands. And the cat and the dog thinks I have something to eat. She's coming toward me. Don't you get my tea. She wants my tea. She's a good puppy. There's a nose right there. What? You gonna get in my lap? Come on. Anyway, so that's that's the news on Ben. Now, I was watching a video just now, just released from um, the Attorney General in Kentucky, and the grand jury has come back with a. Um, whether they're going to charge the people that were involved in Breonna Taylor's death, if they're going to charge them with a crime. And the grand jury came back with no indictments, which means all hell's going to break loose in Louisville tonight. I have friends who live in Louisville. I know some of you probably live in Louisville. But they've already called a curfew. The National Guard is going to be out. And I just heard that a U-Haul van was seen unloading riot shields and things in a parking lot. So, folks, 
If you live in a big city, be aware. Don't get it, be out on the streets after dark tonight. Stay home. Stay home. Because it could be bad wherever you are. Wherever you are, it could be bad. So I just want you safe. I just want you safe. It's one thing to do a peaceful protest. That's a totally different thing. But it's an, it's an entirely different can of worms when you start firebombing and shooting police officers and breaking windows and tearing up our cities. So folks, be safe. Take care of your family. Tell your young children or your teenagers to stay home. You're in charge. Unloading what? Riot shields? And they're gonna have a riot. They're, they're red, planning for a riot. And this is the people that have been doing the rioting all across the country. Antifa and mainly Antifa who have taken over the peaceful protests of Black Lives Matter. That's what I believe. Well, I don't think anybody, I've only watched 10 minutes of, of the actual YouTube video. You can find it on YouTube if you want to watch it for it. It's 54 minutes long, but I've only watched 10 minutes of it. And the Attorney General is a, is a black man, so I'm going to finish watching it. So y'all be aware. Wherever you are, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's noon on the West Coast. Word can spread fast and it can be bad. So find it on YouTube and watch it for yourself. To, you get the feel. Violence is, Mindy's right, violence is not the answer. But it's up to us as mommies. It's up to us as mommies to keep our little, little chicks underneath our wings tonight and keep them safe. Tell your children to stay home. There's no sense in getting out in this. Just no sense in it. So we need to pray. Pray as a fly lady family. Pray as mothers to keep our children safe. We need to pray. That was not the squirrels throwing acorns at me. That was the dog playing with an acorn. Leanne laughs at me the way I pronounce acorn. So folks, we gotta pray. We gotta pray for the people in the cities because when they tear up the cities, you know what's next? They're going to the suburbs. And then you know what's next? They'll come to a rural area and they'll get their butts handed to them because people who live in the country, they don't take crap off nobody. I know I've always lived in the country. Well, the grand jury came down, and I think things got changed, y'all. There's Bobby. Thanks, Bobby, for your prayers. I got to meet Bobby last year when we when we went to Duke with Leanne. When I went to Duke with Leanne for, for Dina's initial visit. Yeah, I like living in the country because if somebody comes up my driveway, they're either lost, they're delivering um, an Amazon. I guess what we got this week, this weekend, this past weekend, we had an Amazon van deliver Amazon stuff to my house. First time ever. It's not going through, it's not going through UPS. Or some of it's going through the mail because I got some stuff through the mail yesterday.
Leanne feels safe up on top of her mountain. I feel safe on top of mine. I got more neighbors than she's got. She has one neighbor. I have neighbors around me, but I live on 10 acres. My driveway's not a half a mile long, but <laughs> they don't like to come up my dark driveway. I had an idea about, I had an idea about Halloween, y'all. With children that can't trick or treat, what if you talk, got some little bitty brown paper bags, you know, the little ones, and you filled them up with candy and you stapled them shut so that you could hand it out and you wore rubber gloves to fill the candy up and then you took clothes pins and hung them on a clothesline at your front door to hand hand out to kids because it's just not fair for kids not to get to trick or treat but if you had everything in little bags where people just only handled their one bag and you were real careful about loading up the bag now, as a mother, I don't know if I'd want people, you know, we've always only handed out stuff with wrappers on it. I think we got some big trucks around. I heard the UPS guy will go honking his horn. He honks everywhere. Y'all, the tea is back in stock. Get your tea. It's amazing. It's that three o'clock pick me up that you need. So I've just been trying to come up with little ways to give kids trick or treater stuff. Maybe you could take some, some little um, 3M command hooks and put on your front door and just layer them like scallops going down the door and hang the taller kids could reach the and with they could reach the the top ones and the younger kids could reach the bottom when you keep filling up the door so you really don't have to have any contact with the kids if they just get their trick-or-treat stuff what is in the tea it's earl gray and bergamot and green tea Yep. So make your front door be scallops of just not clothesline, but just uh, jute twine and use clothespins to hang the, the little bags of candy on them. Halloween Ziploc bags. That's a wonderful idea. We've all got Ziploc bags, and then they can see what's in it. That's brilliant. Where there's a will, there's a way. And maybe you just do it for the little kids in your neighborhood. But it's just sad that they're calling off Halloween for people. <laughs> yep, money is pretty dirty. Now, I have run change through the dishwasher and sterilized it. <laughs> yeah, I've done that thing. You could take a, you can take bag or little uh, white bags that that are um, pink rags and purple rags and things come in. You can put money in that and run it through the dishwasher and sterilize it, big time. Y'all have got lots of great ideas. It is, yeah, this is the best tea, and Leanne and I came up with it. We experimented all last summer. I saw some cute costumes yesterday on YouTube or somewhere, and they had they had turned little boys' costumes into Transformers. How cute was that? Transformer costumes.
we rarely use money anymore and if we have to use real money robert just gives them the whole money and doesn't get any change back yeah it's got caffeine in it that's why it's a pick me up at three o'clock but the tea hasn't even been in a week yet and we are selling it like crazy y'all and here's another thing that's happened we're spam cock We've got three spam cops on us today. I don't know what's going on at Constant Contact, but somebody is delivering to people's addresses that have been unsubscribed. We don't do that. We do not do that. We've got some big stuff. Somebody's building right over here. And I hear it. Some big equipment working. Now on the way to Leanne's house is, I, I've seen the big equipment there. Yep, yeah, Dr. Lee, decaf is on its way. And it's a cold process decaf. What? What do you want? The dog is back. She's licking me. Well, anything you can take a discount on, you just have to put clean 25 in the cart. And what, what does spam, spam copped, spam cop. It's a company that blacklist your emails that go out. And when they blacklist you, they do not let it get to your internet service provider. And when the mail doesn't come through, you don't see it. You don't even know what you've missed. So, it's annoying. You miss your dog. Why don't you go get you another dog? Yeah, because see, once you're blocked by your ISP, Internet Service Provider, the crows are out in force too. Once you're blocked by your ISP, they will sometimes unsubscribe everybody with that IP address that's subscribed to Fly Lady. Yeah. So what you've got to do is you've got to go in and put Fly Lady at Fly Lady address, Fly Lady at FlyLady.net in your address book. Another thing you can do is any email that comes from us, just hit reply and or click on a link. This shows your internet service provider that you're actually liking those emails. Another thing you can do is open the email all the way up. In Gmail, you get to preview things. Just open the email all the way up. So there's lots of things you can do. I think more than half of our people didn't get their emails today because our we're blowing up. Where's my email? Where's my email? The crows are loud. You know what they what a group of crows is called? It's called a murder. A murder of crows. That's one of those fun facts I guess I got off of Jeopardy. <sighs> Quit eating that out, acorn. Quit it. Don't eat the acorn. They're for the squirrels. They're not dog food. Murder, a murder of crows. Leanne's a crossword puzzle person, so she knows that to be true. And Tulip knows everybody in the neighborhood. She gets around, if you know what I mean. She knows every UPS driver, every mailman. How do I do what? I'm not smart. <laughs> yeah, the big equipment's out there. And I just have one little AirPod in. 
somebody I don't know how it's spelled in it so if you know how it's spelled then please tell me if that I that's kind of cool if it's spelled that way I don't know how it's spelled I just know it sounds like murder acorns yep life is good It is a beautiful place to live. Uh-oh, there's the chipper. Robert's chipping stuff. He usually waits until, I guess he thinks I'm off the show by now. We got the new Roomba. <laughs> I don't stand a chance today. I'm having to fight the heavy equipment and the chipper and the dog and the acorns falling. <laughs> oh, I think and the crows and the hawks. He loves his chipper. He absolutely loves his chipper. So tomorrow is question and answer day. So get your questions in. Liz will put them all together. Liz will put them all together. Say a little prayer for Liz. So keep Liz in your prayers. Liz lives in a city, too. She lives in Baltimore. <laughs> you just have to laugh. What else can you do? You just have to laugh. I can't believe it. Oh, y'all laugh with me. That's just funny. It's just... How's the room going? Well, Robert took the one apart that was broken and it has some little nylon gears in it. Little nylon gears and, and the set of gears were worn out. I mean, worn out. And so he has ordered a new set. He found them on eBay and he's ordered a new set for it. He's gonna leave that one in the basement. So that one he can uh, turn it on and babysit it while it's down there keep his carpet in his office. Now, the rest of the basement is a disaster area because he does a lot of woodworking down there and he has a lot of sawdust down there. And we would need an industrial <laughs> Roomba down there. Sounds of your, your camping out. Oh, wow. What are you doing, Tula? Tula, you gonna come up? She's decided she's gonna come up and see us all. Why do you want up here? You wanna look at the ladies? What are you doing? What's that noise? You know what that noise is. You come run into the house. You gonna give me kisses, mama kisses? Yeah, she loves her mama. She wants her chest rubbed. She's hypnotized. I like to take things apart too. I think Robert fell in love with me when I took the vacuum cleaner apart. Not right after he'd asked me to marry him, I was over here helping getting the house ready for the wedding. And uh, the vacuum cleaner just, she's coming up again. The vacuum cleaner, Tulip, you got sharp little feet. You got sharp little feet and a long tongue. And so I took our vacuum cleaner apart, well, his vacuum cleaner apart all the way down to the brushes in the motor. And if you don't know what that is, it's the little magnets in the motor. And they were worn out. I mean, totally worn out. That's a long tongue. And he looked at me and he said, you know, you're capable. Cause when I took it apart, I took it apart. I just didn't throw the pieces anywhere. 
I, I sorted them out. I had little piles here and I, I do it clockwise. What are you doing? You're being, you're misbehaving. You wanna lie down? Lie down. I'm being puppied. What are you doing? So we got all we got all the way down to the problem with the vacuum cleaner, and I looked at him and I said, unless you can get some new magnets for new bushes, brushes for the motor, this thing can't be fixed. He said, I think you're right. But that was the best compliment he ever gave me is that I was capable. And I'm, I'm stubborn. Like that video I showed you this morning. If somebody tells me I can't do something, I am going to do it or die trying. That's just how I am. And I think we all have a little bit of that in us because we're women. Except for Robert on here. <laughs> It's a cha yeah, challenging show today. Well, folks, <laughs> stereo machinery <laughs> outside with the bush hog. Yeah, we got it going. And being puppy, too. Well, I love you all. Y'all be safe out there. Talk to your children. Not have them out after dark tonight. I don't care what the angry faces are. They can go away because inside we're smiling. It's all about dreaming big. If you've not ever heard Ryan Shoup's song, Dream Big, watch Dream, go to on, on YouTube and watch the video for Dream Big. Yep, watch the video for Dream Big because that song, you just, you keep the hurt you don't let people know. You take care of yourself. Trolls can go away. I had to, you know, two-year-olds, little two-year-olds, they can try our patience. They can try our patience. I had to talk to Esther about that today because she's always had she has worked away from home most of her life, even with five children. And she's never really been around a two-year-old. And it's been quite an experience for her. I said, two-year-olds climb. Two-year-olds do things. You can't take your eyes off a two-year-old. You've always got to have your eyes on your two-year-old. Two That's how they learn. That's how they learn. So, she is learning too. <laughs> so folks, drink your tea. That's his second load in the chipper today. He's got a pile of chips like you wouldn't believe. I love you all. And I will see you tomorrow morning. And we're going to have our question and answer day, y'all. See you later.